June is undoubtedly one of the best times of the year for catching a whole variety of species. And on small rivers like we're on today, it's a gold mine for smallmouth bass. I'm gonna slide the canoe out in the Vermilion River and I'm gonna show you how to catch them this week on the water. There he is, got him. Boy, first cast on this side of the river. Just goes to show you that moving back and forth can make such a difference. This is a great smallie I got on here. But you know, you look at locations we're fishing today. We're in a pool and what I'm looking for in these small rivers is a spot where it widens out a little bit because there's a lot of current in this river. But where it widens out a little bit, you're gonna find more current breaks. And that's what we've got here. This is a dynamite fish right here. Look at this guy. There's more current breaks and that makes a big difference. This fish was right up tight on that shoreline. I mean, this thing hit and this guy grabbed it that quick. So that's one of the things you want to look for. The other thing that I want to look for is structure and cover. One of the things that's out here is there's a spot out here where it gets soft bottom. Up here, it's rock, and then there's also weeds on the shoreline. There's a little bit of anything for this smallie. Let's get him out, let me show him to you. This is just a dynamite fish, look at that guy. That is just a ball to catch. But you know, if you can find an area where it widens out a little bit, you have a current break like we have, or a current seam, any kind of break is also gonna work. You know, there's a rock right back here. I'm gonna pitch that rock sticking out of the water because behind it, there's some slack water. But that's what you wanna look for in these small rivers is any kind of current break or current seam because if you can find that, you're gonna find Mr. Smallmouth right next to it. That's a dynamite fish right there. Boy, this just goes to show that it doesn't take much of a move and you can pick a fish up real quick. This one here, he's loaded with energy. Plus, we're in a little bit heavier current here. It's got him going the other way. You know, I think one of the most important things I'm doing though is the presentation I'm using. You know, spots are important, but you gotta be able to effectively fish a spot. We're gonna take this fish. Oh, there he's gonna come over here for us. You gotta be able to effectively fish a spot when I come out on a river, you know, I know these are very aggressive fish. And this is another dynamite smallie. Look at that guy. I know these are very aggressive fish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring out lures that actually really play into that small mouse hands as far as his aggression. And what I'm doing is I got two different lures tied up today. And realistically, I could fish a river small river like this with these two lures all season long, but they're especially effective in June. And I'm gonna show you, let me get this fish out of here. That's a dandy smallie right there. I'm gonna let this guy go and then I'll show you the baits I'm using here. There he goes. This is real simple. This is a Rebel Pop R. All you do is you cast this thing out it hits the surface and then I'll actually let it just kind of drift down with the current and I'll sit and pop it. And it doesn't have to be a big snap. It can just be enough to just see that little bit of water move. And a lot of times that's all they need. Plus the other thing is I don't want to bring it back too fast because if I'm bringing it back too fast, I'm going to pull it out of the strike zone. A lot of these fish, that smallmouth right there, they're tight up on the bank. And here's why they're tight up there. They're just finishing up that bedding activity. So they're still up in there and they're not cruising this deeper stuff yet. So you wanna stay in the strike zone as long as you can. Now, once I've cast that bait into an area, probably caught a couple fish on it, they won't touch that again. It's just the way it works. So I've always got a second line tied up. And what I'm casting here is a Booyah Pond Magic Spinner Bait. And boy, I think this was just custom made for small rivers in June, I tell you. It'll catch fish all year long, but the bait fish are all smaller in June. When we're earlier in the year, they're still chasing smaller bait fish. And the other thing that's going on is we've got a bug hatch going on the first one of the year. It's a dragonfly hatch. And this thing coming in right along the surface has that fluttering from the blades and that little bit of pulsating in that rubber skirt. And it looks like a bug that could be skittering along the top because I'm actually burning this pretty high today. I'm 
not letting it get down, and that can make all the difference. So make sure you've got two baits tied up, two totally different baits that work different parts of the water column, and you'll catch more fish. think this is the exact species we were looking for, but you know what? Oh, geez, I'll tell you what, though. That's a fun pike to catch. You know, you look at what I'm doing today. You can do this in so many places. Today we're on the Vermilion River in northern Minnesota, but you can do this on the Big Fork. You can do this on the Little Fork. You could do this on the Rum River, where I grew up as a kid fishing. You know, there are rivers like this all over. Boy, I'm just, you know, in a canoe, it gets a little little lopsided here when you're on the wrong side and you're fighting current. But you know, you can go to so many little rivers throughout the Midwest and do the same thing that we're doing today. And it's just so much fun because not only can you catch all those smallmouth, boy, there's pike in them, there's walleye in them, there's all kinds of species and it's just, just a whole ton of fun. So pick a river near you. You know, you don't have to make it a big trip. Just pick a river near home and go out and Throw some spinner baits, some top waters, and start catching them. He was laying right behind. Oh, he come off right there. Boy, I'll tell you what, he was laying right behind that rock. And that is so cool when you can pick a fish out like that. You know, I never saw the fish. I just assumed there had to be something behind that rock which is creating that current break. You know, the upcoming week just looks dynamite. The weather looks great. It's gonna stabilize. You know, we've had storms over the last couple days and that might've slowed fishing down a little bit today, but these fish are just getting going. The water temp is 68 to 70 degrees and they're just coming off the beds and they're getting to places like this that are easy to pick out. When I, when I say places like this, current breaks. If you see a log laying down, you know, in the water, fish that log. If you see a fallen tree off the shoreline, fish it. If you see a rock like that, fish it and you're gonna catch them. All said and done, get out this week, cast some top waters, bring a spinner bait with you to throw right behind it because I'm gonna throw a spinner bait right back there and I'm gonna get this fish to bite again. You know what? It's a great time to fish. June is awesome. The fish are aggressive and small rivers are great fishing. Look at that. <laughs> that is a prime example of switching to that spinner bait after you work an area over with that top water. This smallie was out in deeper water. I pitched out to him with this spinner bait, and boy, he just attacked it. You know, I think the key to the catch on these small rivers in the, ooh, look at that smallmouth. On these small rivers in this situation, the key to the catch is really doing exactly what we just did. That's having two rods ready to go, two totally different situations, two totally different techniques, and throw them out, keep working these fish. You know, the other thing about smallmouth fishing in these rivers is keep moving. I've kept moving along, and you know what? I've casted that shoreline enough times now that you would think we would have got a fish out of there. But before I pull the anchor, I pitch out into that deeper water, and that's where this guy was laying, and he attacked that spinnerbait. Get out on the water, enjoy a couple of these small rivers. This week is gonna be absolutely dynamite. Check back with us next week for more current and up-to-date information. Until next time, I'm John Thielen. We'll catch you on the water. <laughs>